stupid, old man. How low do you have to be to get drunk on cooking wine? But I guess it's just as pathetic to rush out like this every day. <sighs> man, what am I gonna do? I got nowhere to go. Yo, sup, Pooch? Here to join my nowhere to go after school club? <laughs> Sorry, Pooch. I don't have any food for you. You know, I. Haven't I seen you around here before? Hey, it's Junpei! Huh? Oh, hey guys. Why the long face? Are you that sad that we're in different homerooms now? Still dumb as rocks, huh? Wait, isn't it way past your dorm curfew? What are you guys doing out so late? Ah, uh, we snuck out. When you get to be a junior, you learn the secret exit. Hey, we're going to Escapade. Want to come with? We're helping this guy drown his sorrows over a girl. That's not true. <laughs> Don't let it get to you. That's what you get for going after someone like Yukari Takeba. Although I never expected her to hook up with a new transfer student. I guess she goes for that kind of dark side of his. Dark? He seems like a regular dude to me. No, I'm serious. That transfer kid? Rumor has it both his parents died when he was little. Someone got a peek at his file when Toriyumi left it lying around. Man, you're so gullible. That stuff only happens in soap operas. Hey, I said it was a rumor. Come on, let's get going. You snooze, no booze. Booze? Uh, uh I think I'm gonna pass. Huh? What's the matter? Come on, why don't you live a little? I said I'm gonna pass. I just ain't in the mood. Well, man, looks like I'm the only one you got to console you. They keep telling you nothing happened! He offered to hang out, and I turned him down. Things never go the way I want them to. Man, is my life really as bad as it seems now? I wish there was, like, something I could do to change the world. Like, some awesome skill that no one else has. <laughs> Don't give me that. I'm sure someday, we can make some real friends that'll listen to us. <laughs> All the scenes in my past, and you guys had to see that one. Junpei. Dude, I know! <laughs> I was surprised to see you too. So, you were the dog from that day. Makes it seem kind of like... destiny. <coughs> Looking back, that was the day Akihiko-san found me. The only place I could go from there was the convenience store. And that's where I was when the dark hour hit. You were bawling in the dark with that awful expression. Honestly, you looked worse than the shadows. Well, what was I supposed to do? That was the scariest damn moment of my life, man. <laughs> but you know, I had other stuff to deal with, like my old man. So staying at the dorm and fighting shadows and all that stuff looked pretty good. I see. Unlike me and my sister, other people usually have reasons to awaken. I comprehend. I had my reasons as well. However, in my case, it happened in reverse. I had the power first, and gained a reason later. Now that I mention it, you're... Hmm. I think I'm 
starting to get it. There is a reason we see what we see inside the doors. Doors that have delivered on that reason disappear, and those with roles still to play remain. A reason? What kind of reason? I can't say for sure, but if we keep moving forward, I think we'll start seeing it. <laughs> Let's do our best, sister. You... You're right. Until then, it hadn't even occurred to me to wonder about it. She's so full of emotion. Nothing like me when I woke up in July. But she'd never had any chance to come into contact with others. Was there a moment when she discovered her emotions, as I did? The seed of my curiosity was planted as I began to wonder. <laughs>